Hey there, today I wanna to show you how I gather all my favorites in one place in Canva. So this is an ongoing process that I'm always doing as I'm searching through Canva and I'm adding things to my starred folder and I wanna show you how you can do that as well. From your home screen, over here on the left, you're gonna see projects. If you click on projects and under folders, you're going to see starred. And if I click on that, I'm going to see all of the different things that I've starred. So I have some elements here. I have some font set um, pairings that I like. I have some backgrounds that I like, some other elements, um, some templates. They're all here in one place. And let me show you how I got them here. I have a presentation slide template open. This is from my brand in a box collection, Desi. And as I'm going through this, maybe I wanna add some new photos and I wanna find some that are similar to this one. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna click on this, and then I'm gonna click on this little eye and it's gonna pull up who submitted this photo. And if I like this photo, I can star it. It gets added to my star folder. But now let's find some more that I wanna add. And I would want to just do this quickly. So I'm going to click on the person's name and then I can scroll through here. I see this one that I already liked. I can go here to the three dots and I can say, see more like this. And then as these are pulled up, I can come in here to these three dots and just star. So I have a lot of different slides in this presentation template, but maybe I'm looking for a particular one. Let me show you how I go find my favorites and how I star them for later as I'm searching. I'm gonna come right here to design and I'll click on that. And then all of these different options get pulled up for me. And I can search in these by clicking on them. I'll see all 17 when I click on it. Maybe there are some of these that I like and I can just star this whole deck. Whenever I see a deck that I like the look of, I can just click on it here, go back, and then star it. If I wanted to add another graph to this, I'm just going to add a new page. And now I'm going to come to elements and I'm gonna search for graphs. I search for graphs and then I click on graphics. I can see all of these different options that I have. Maybe there's some that I don't need to do, use now, but I want to use in the future. I'm just going to go to those three dots and I'm going to star them. Now that I've starred a bunch of items, I can come back over here to my projects and then I'm going to go to folders and then I'm going to click on start. And so you can see all of those things that I just added to my start folder are there. Now I can click on this and add it. I can change the colors. I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to go back to that folder, projects, folders, start. And now I can open up this pitch deck, this presentation slide, and see if any of these are ones that I want to add. And if I just click on it, it gets added. And now I can change the colors. There, I can change the fonts. These are the document fonts. I can go back into my folder and find the some of the photos that I have selected. This is that one I added, I can add that. Another thing that you can do to really curate all of your favorites, even from your starred folder, is create their own folder. So if I was wanting like all my stock photos in one, I could do that right from those three dots as well. So from these three dots, I can add to folder and I can put it in my stock photo. Sometimes I like to keep things in my starred folder and in my stock photo folder, depending on, you know, I never know what I'm gonna be using and when. Uh, I just like to keep everything really close at hand, makes it really easy to design in Canva. You can also go into your templates right here on the left and Canva is gonna pull up a ton of different ideas for you. 
I like a minimalist look, so I could come in here and I can just go through and star a bunch of these that I like. Then when it's time to actually design in Canva, I can always go into that starred folder and have everything right at hand. Adding to your starred folder will save you so much time and really inspire your design work when it goes time to create. Uh, so take that few moments to add things to your starred folder and you will not be sorry when you go to create in Canva next time. All right, we'll see ya.